As Russian President Vladimir Putin waged war on Ukraine, the United States worked with allies to isolate Russia diplomatically and financially. Putin is an aggressor. He is the aggressor. And Putin must pay the price. However, India's position created a dilemma for Washington. New Delhi called for peace but abstained from voting on UN resolutions that condemn Russia, India's biggest arms supplier. New Delhi also bought more Russian oil. In our judgment, it is important that all countries, especially those with leverage, press Putin to end the war. But the world's third biggest oil consumer argued it needed cheap energy for ever-growing needs. We have seen that uh, the uh, India-Russia relationship has worked to advantage. So if it works to my advantage, I would like to keep it in that, keep that going. Moscow became New Delhi's top energy supplier this year as imports soared. Former Indian officials expect that trend will continue. We have become more um, uh, sort of prone uh, to practice what we would like to call st uh, strategic autonomy, which means that we would like to take all our decisions uh, based on what is uh, uh, India's interest. U.S. is a very important partner for us, uh, and we would like to keep uh, their interests in mind. But we would like to also see what best, what best is, our, is the course of action uh, that uh, is uh, required for us in our national interest. Although President Joe Biden called India's response on Ukraine shaky, experts attribute his relatively muted reaction to Washington's need for India's support against a bigger rival. While in the near term, we would love for countries to be exactly where we are on the position uh, against uh, Russia, especially with the invasion of Ukraine, the larger and more strategic threat really is China. And we see India as a very important partner in that countering China. Biden's national security strategy released in October relies on India to help counterbalance China in the Indo-Pacific mainly through the Quad, an informal alliance of the U.S., India, Japan and Australia. So we would really like uh, to be part of this organization, which would help to maybe put a stop to, uh, to the assertive behavior of China, and which is, you know, uh, to some extent even directed against India. But China is also India's second biggest trading partner after the U.S. And India is part of the Beijing-led Shanghai Cooperation Organization. Still, China's deep ties with India's rival Pakistan and border disputes with India are reasons for New Delhi to cooperate with Washington to curb Beijing's growing ambitions. Their approach might differ. I think the extent or the, the methods in which they're thinking about the Quad or the Indo-Pacific or, or countering China may differ in quality, but I don't think there's any question in terms of their goals. In 2023, analysts expect U.S. and Indian officials will publicly focus more on those common goals around China and less on their differences over Russia. Sara Zaman, VOA News, Washington.